name is Kara. I am recording this video on the same day that I recorded another video about other Bath & Beauty products, so I haven't changed at all, and I look exactly the same, and the frame should be exactly the same. But in this video, I am going to be talking about some products slash brands that I have actually found available at my local dollar store that are vegan and cruelty free. So on a budget, these are the things that I have picked up that I have used, some things that I haven't used yet that I've recently picked up. To give you a little background, I have been vegan for about five going on six years. So after I graduated from college and was in charge of buying my own food, I gave up animal products in my diet and I also started transitioning into vegan and cruelty-free products in the rest of my life. So not just the things that I eat, but also the things that I use, the things I wear, the things I put on my body, my makeup, and you know, hygienic products, everything like that. However, I don't know if this is just because being brought up as a girl in today's society, in this world, but like every holiday, every birthday, every whatever, people would always just give me Bath & Beauty products and cosmetics and stuff. And part of the environmental aspect of my veganism for me is not being wasteful. And so I have a ton of non-vegan products just sitting around that have been stocked up because people just keep giving them to me. They're not things that I bought, but they're like gifts that people keep buying for me. And so they're not vegan, and if I can get rid of them, if I can re-gift them to someone else who needs it, who isn't vegan or isn't doing the thing, then I will. But a lot of the time, I just end up finishing the products that I already have, especially if they're already open. I've just been finishing those products before buying anything new, and then the new things that I buy would be vegan and cruelty-free. So, some of these things I haven't used yet because I bought them because they're vegan and cruelty-free, so that when I run out, of the things that I'm trying to use up that are not vegan, I already have the vegan things to transition to. I'll put a link in the description to some websites that I have used in the past that are lists of like cosmetics brands, for example, that are vegan and cruelty free, and it also notes whether or not their parent company is also vegan and cruelty free, just in case you don't want to buy from a brand that has other items that are not, or that they are owned by a company that has other lines of products that are not vegan and cruelty free because you know the money is going back up that chain so I'll put some links in the description to those resources. But without further ado, some of the first vegan bath products that I purchased were at a Walgreens in the United States. There is this brand that they have there called Ology Well Being. I believe it is a Walgreens brand, but I found vegan bar soap. And this was like toward the beginning of transitioning to being vegan, and I was just like, oh my god, vegan bar soap. I should get this now because I know that it's here, even though I still have a ton of body wash that I needed to use up, and I don't use bar soap that often. I'm still using up these things and, you know, all this stuff. But I'm, I'm so ready. <laughs> I'm so ready. I have so much vegan soap now, as you'll see. Most of this video is soap. But anyway, this is like some of the first vegan soap that I bought that actually says sulfate and paraben free, vegan, no artificial fragrances, and not tested on animals, which also means that it's cruelty free. So this scent, is, this one is just shea butter enriched triple milled soap. So this one is just enriched with shea butter, whereas this one is aloe vera and olive oil. One of my old roommates opened this without my permission and used one of the bars of soap before I ever got a chance to try them, so I hope they enjoyed it, but that's why there's one missing. I actually haven't tried these yet. But they smell fantastic, and I mean, it, it's bar soap, so I was just like, I'm just happy that there's vegan bar soap. I thought this was gonna be so difficult to find, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to grab this now because I'm never gonna be able to find it. Well, as I learned from my friend McKenna over at The Pagan Vegan, she put on her Instagram story one time this brand that she had found at the dollar store, her local dollar store. And so next time I was at my dollar store, I looked and sure enough, I found it. It's called Sugar Soap Works. It's made in the USA and it is vegan and cruelty free. Not tested on animals, contains no animal products or byproducts. So I grabbed the lavender and vanilla as well as the oatmeal and verbena. Verbena, verbena. On the back, it has a little description. Sticking to the basics, sugar products, which is spelled with an H, S-H-U-G-A-R, 
Sticking to the basics, sugar products are free of animal fat, animal byproducts, harmful chemicals, and excessive artificial fragrances. We keep our products simple yet luxurious. Each of our sugar soap bars contain a rich blend of pure essential oils, plant-based ingredients, and natural fragrances to lift your spirits without the guilt of harming your skin or the environment. Sugar Soap Works is dedicated to the environment and keeping California green. That's why we don't use any animal fats or plastic in our soaps and keepsake boxes. Every one of us at Sugar Soap Works believes in the same cause to provide you with healthy, clean soap while protecting animals and the environment from unnecessary harm. And then it lists the ingredients, no colors, no parabens, it has the little Leaping Bunny logo, so it is certified, not animal tested, cruelty free, made in the USA, and they're on Facebook. <laughs> they're just in these boxes. I got these at the dollar store at Dollar Tree, which is actually one dollar. So I was like, this is awesome, because as cool as these are, and as cool and like as happy as I was to find these, and it's a pack of three, I don't remember how much these cost. But at Walgreens, it's not, it's not a dollar. I can tell you that. I don't remember how much these were. Actually, I think I bought myself one of these and then someone else bought me the other one as a gift. But anyway, so I haven't tried these yet, but also my partner doesn't like bar soap because of how they like sit on a surface and they get all yucky, which, you know, I guess no one had ever bought them one of the soap dishes that has holes in it so the water can drain out so it's not just sitting in water and getting mushy and yucky. But because I am a crafty witch, I was sitting with my grandma crocheting with her and I crocheted little pouches for my bars of soap. So you put your bar of soap in there and there's holes in it and then it's a scrubby at the same time. So you wet it with water and you just take a bath with it just like this and I color coordinated them. So I have a lavender one for the lavender and a green one for the oatmeal verbena. Because what else does a crafty witch do? If you want some of these, let me know. I'll make them in whatever color you want. They're not listed on my Etsy or anything, but I just love sitting and crocheting while I do other stuff. And if it's practical and awesome, then so much the better. And I use acrylic yarn, so I don't use any uh, animal product yarn as well. So no wool or anything like that. Another product line that McKenna told me about initially is ELF Cosmetics, which I had seen around at like Walmart and the dollar store and things like that, but I didn't know that it was a cruelty-free vegan company until McKenna told me, and then it's on the list, um, some of the lists that I will be putting below. It's mentioned on there because it's totally vegan, cruelty-free. So I actually picked this up today at the dollar store for a dollar. It is Twinkle Teal Eyeliner. I don't use eyeliner pencils like this very often because they're usually too rough and I can't get the color on my eye without like really hurting myself. But this promised that it wasn't going to hurt and it was going to be nice and smooth. So I got it. I'm actually wearing it right now. I don't know if you can tell because of my adorable hat, but I'm just wearing the eyeliner. No eyeshadow or anything. It's just a little pop of color on the bottom and a little bit on the edges of my top eyelids. And it was not horrible. I did, I softened it a little bit on my hand first to make sure it wasn't like a big rough point. And I had to try a little bit in some of the areas to get the color to come off, but that's just because, like I said, I'm not used to these pencils. If you can use these pencils, you're all good to go, man. I usually have to use one of those like crayons because I don't like a liquid. I like the pencil style, but I like the soft. And then this, you've seen me wear this in videos before. This is a tinted lip balm, not a lipstick, but this is a lip balm that is tinted red. So I'm actually wearing this other thing that I'm going to talk to you about in a second, but I'll go ahead and put this on in case you haven't seen it in another video. It's got a little bit of color, just a little bit, and it's kind of minty. There you go. I forget what they called this color. On the, on the bottom it just says XO Red, but I don't think that was the name of it on the package, but I got this on clearance actually, like at Walmart. It was a dollar. And they have other things at the dollar store, like I said, I got this, and they have some of the lip lacquers and lip glosses and stuff like that at the dollar store for a dollar, but I don't wear those, so I got this one. And then I also have, I just remembered, they're downstairs, I should go grab them. Are they downstairs? Where did I put them? Hold please, this is important. So when I say I don't wear a lot of makeup, I mean, I just had to look through my entire house to find my makeup bag because I don't remember where it was. I can't remember the last time I used it. I mostly wear makeup on stage. I'm an actor, and when I am in a play, I wear makeup. But generally, other than that, I wear very little. I like lip color, I like eye color, and that's about it. So I've been using these for 
a couple of years now. This is the ELF Moisturizing Lipstick in, again, at the bottom, oh no, this is Razzle Dazzle Red. So this one has a little bit of a shimmer to it as well. You may or may not have seen me wear this in photos on Instagram or anything like that, but next time I am, I will say that that's what it is, and it'll be on my Instagram, which is CuteWitch772, just like everything else. I also got the Lip Exfoliator, which is clear. It's not a color. It's, like, made of... I don't have the ingredients list right here, but I, I kept the little cardboard so I would remember what's in it, but it's, like, I think coconut oil and cane sugar, and it's, like, it's a stick made with gritty bits of like the sugar and things like that so when you put it on like a lipstick it leaves all the sugar and then you rub it in and it's exfoliating and then you can kind of like rub it on if you want and then you're supposed to it says like then wipe it off and then put your lipstick on but hello this is vegan it's all plant-based it's edible so i just lick it off tastes fantastic i don't know I also have one of their color correcting creams that I use sometimes, especially on stage because I do tend to get dark circles or I just think it looks weird like if I take my glasses off because I'm used to seeing myself with glasses and other people are used to seeing me with glasses, sometimes the spaces right under my eyes, even if they aren't actually dark, they look dark. So I have an ELF color correcting cream that I use pretty much only in that occasion. Like I said, I don't wear a lot of makeup otherwise. So those are my ELF products for now. And I found this, I found this in the drawer. This is something that I grabbed like at Walmart four years ago or something because I knew when I finally use up the mascara that I currently have, which I don't remember what it is. Oh my gosh! I am so silly. So when I bought this, I did not know that Wet n Wild is a vegan and cruelty-free brand. And in the lists in the description, you will see that Wet n Wild is all vegan and cruelty-free. This is their Mega Protein Mascara. So I think when I bought this, I it was before I was vegan, or at least it was before I was transitioning all of my products, not just my diet, to being vegan. So I grabbed this because it's organic, thinking, oh, well, when I use this up, I'll have this one, and it's vegan and organic. But this one's vegan and cruelty-free as well. It's just not organic, I guess. So this is Mega Protein Mascara. But yeah, so I picked this one up. It's Physician's Formula Organic Wear Mascara. The packaging literally has dust on it because it's been sitting in my cabinet for like four years. Does this stuff go bad? Like, I feel like some of you who are really into makeup are going to be like, oh my god, don't put that on your face. But seriously, I've been using like really old mascara and eyeliner forever. So I'll be fine. 100% of the total ingredients are from a natural origin. 70% are from organic farming. Innovative green brush is good for the earth. Good? I don't know if it's good for the earth, but we'll say maybe it's biodegradable. Is that what you mean? Ultra soft plastic bristles. Contains organisoy to moisturize and nourish lashes. And eco olive, a natural antioxidant that shields lashes from harsh environmental aggressors. Organic orange water, organic aloe and cucumber extract. Free of synthetics. Natural, 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 rice protein, tapioca starch. Oh, it has beeswax in it. Okay, so I wouldn't consider this 100% vegan, but it is probably mostly. And I guess it says the beeswax is so that you can build up the layers. Whatever. Well, good to know. So just as always, if you're trying to be vegan and cruelty-free, read the labels, and then you'll know. Again, I don't, I don't know if I was actually attempting to be fully vegan in my stuff when I got this. But it is certified organic, which is pretty cool. Cool! Okay, next. So then we come to the things that I picked up at the dollar store today. So I already knew that Sugar Soap Works was available at my dollar store, and they're vegan. But all I've ever seen from them, actually, I guess I didn't look in, like, all of the different areas. Because sometimes different products are in different aisles. But I, it's Soap Works, right? So I know they have the soap, and that's all I've seen. But today, I saw this huge display. Actually, first I saw a bunch of soaps from another brand. Picked it up and it said cruelty free and vegetable based and you know, all this stuff and I was like oh my god more vegan and cruelty free soaps and I took a picture of all the scents that were on the top shelf and I sent it to McKenna and I was like have you seen these yet? Have you tried them? And she was like no let me know how you like them. But I already have all of this soap so I didn't buy the soaps but they had 
all these other products. They had facial wipes, they had body cream, they had body oil, they had body wash in one of the scents. There was one bottle left, so obviously that's a popular product in the neighborhood. And I feel like there was something else I can't remember right now. But anyway, there were a bunch of different scents too. Mint raspberry, an Italian pear, and then on the bottom shelf I noticed they have other soaps, scents, in different packaging, but it's from the same company. It just looks a little different. It's like a gingham checked pattern and they had an apple cinnamon and they had a vanilla soap and they had like so many different they had a verbena one so many different scents of the soaps but then they had basically lavender something i want to say was it lavender citrus whatever the lavender one is in the picture that and italian pear and moroccan mint raspberry they had those scents in all of those other things body wash the facial wipes the body oil the lotion and except for the Italian pear was the only one left of the body wash so I didn't get that today because I still have a bunch of body washes that I'm using up and then I have a bunch of soap so I don't need it right now because also what my partner uses and my partner is also vegan and that's not my doing they were already vegan when I met them also they love Dr. Bronner's so we have the tea tree one right now because I like tea tree for my hair but I've actually stopped using this because I don't know if that's what's been making my hair really weird and like completely changing the consistency so I have stopped using it on my hair for the moment and it also dries out my skin a little bit so I don't know if I just haven't gotten used to it but my partner loves this and it's really good for like it's literally good for everything I didn't plan on talking about Dr. Bronner's because it's not a cheapy brand this costs a little bit more but you can use it on your hair and on your body and you can use it to shave and you can wash your floors with it I've actually washed the bathroom with it so it's yeah you can use it for your laundry you can use it on your dishes you can use it for a million things and that's why it's called 18 in 1 hemp pure castile soap certified fair trade made with organic oils 100% post-consumer recycled plastic bottle. Yeah, so check it out. I think we had to get this at Target. I think that's the only place near us that sells it, and I do not remember how much it was, but this is a 32-ounce bottle. We've had it for months, and you can see we're getting... We're getting there. But anyway, so I texted my partner pictures of all of those scents, and I was like, what scent should we try? Because I've also gotten them into actually using lotion. And so we both decided we wanted to try Moroccan mint and raspberry. So I got two of these, because again, it was the dollar store, they're only a dollar. So I got one for our upstairs bathroom and one for the downstairs bathroom, essentially. It says right here, it's Bolero Beverly Hills, purveyors of natural products, no artificial dyes, cruelty free. Unfortunately, this is a 3.5 fluid ounce bottle, so it is not small enough to take traveling, but almost. Almost travel size. It has peppermint and raspberry extract in it. it smells great. I haven't actually used it on my hands yet. I just finished recording my Dittany Beauty products show and tell review, so I smell like lavender latte right now, so I don't want to have so many scents on right now. But looking forward to trying this, like I said, just picked it up today. And cleansing facial wipes in the Moroccan mint and raspberry, which I will actually go ahead and use right now, even though my hair is a mess so I'm not taking my hat off. But I'm going to go ahead and try this now. Let's just see. Because I love facial wipes. I love, like, travel wipe style things. So I love these little resealable things. I know, like, this part isn't great. That's not the best plastic. I don't think it's recyclable. I would much prefer to have a full like plastic box like they have like diaper wipes in because then the whole thing I know would be recyclable even though like plastic is meh whatever but it is hygienic and at least I know it's recyclable that way. But you know so there's pros and cons to everything. Oh it's a big okay I thought this was like gonna be half the size. So it smells great number one. I don't have like makeup on my face but you could use this as a makeup remover obviously. But the main reason I love these things is like, one, if I am wearing makeup, then I use something like this. Because otherwise I just wash my face with a rag and then I use my Dittany face and body scrub, which again, <laughs> you saw in the other video if you've already seen it. If you haven't yet, I'll link to it in this video. But then, you know, I like something like this or just a rag to get off, like especially if I've colored in my brows or anything like that, then I would use it to get my makeup off. But I also love them specifically when we go camping or when we're traveling because I don't always take 
all of my stuff with me, especially, especially if it's a camping situation. What I have right now is like just antibacterial wipes. I always bring something like that. So this being not chemically and vegan and cruelty free, this is something that I would love to take along just on a trip, have it in my bag, and just, you know, if it's a little dusty or just too warm, you get kind of sweaty and you just want to freshen up a little bit, because camp showers are... Okay, I don't know where my camera cut off, but I have two long vegan bath and beauty product reviews recorded on my flip cam right now. So it ran out of room and it stopped recording. So I don't know where in that process I was, but I just tried one of these facial wipes from Bolero Beverly Hills in the Moroccan mint and raspberry scent. And it feels good. My skin feels smooth and fresh and I can feel the mint tingling, which is nice about mint. You can actually feel like it's working and know that it's doing something. And then after I was finished like cleaning my entire face and neck and behind my ears and everything like that and my hands, there was still moisture in the little towelette. So I used it to wipe down the bathroom counter because just because you paid a dollar for this doesn't mean you have to waste them. If there is more use in them, you know, clean up your counter, shine up your faucets, you know, whatever. Use it. You got it. Use it. Make it work. So yeah, I don't know when it cut out, but. There was that, and that was the end anyway. That was the last product I was gonna talk to you about today. Just kidding, no it's not. Okay, hold on one second. The last thing I got today is Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula Lip Balm with SPF 15, and I looked this up because on the package it says no parabens, no phthalates, no mineral oil, no gluten, no dyes, and it says formulated and ethically sustainably, formulated with ethically and sustainably sourced ingredients. And on the back it says family owned and operated, made in the USA, blah, 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 sustainable, all this stuff, right? And so it sounds like it might be vegan, so I checked online and this product is vegan. Palmer's does also make things that are not vegan, so if you don't want to support the company because of that, that is also a choice, that is a thing that some people pay attention to. I pay attention to it, but I don't necessarily let it stop me from spending a dollar on a product that is vegan, because I think it's worth it to let that company know that this product is something that people want, and they have like four products that are vegan and cruelty free. So this product is and I was using it today before I put on the ELF lip tint balm and I really like it so far. I get really dry chapped lips in the winter time and I don't find a lot of vegan lip balm that doesn't contain beeswax. So I'm hoping that Dittany Beauty will eventually get one figured out. And I have a friend who has a little Bath & Beauty line of organic, natural stuff, and they do use beeswax, but I actually, I know the bees. Like, I asked them, like, well, where do you get the beeswax from? And it's a family friend of theirs raises the bees, and so I know that they're not being smoked out for their honey and for the beeswax and stuff like that, so I know that they're not being killed in the process, and they're local bees. So I... You know, like they can show me on a map, this is where the bees live, this is where the beeswax came from. So for me it's also partly just being mindful. Um, but I was just excited about this being a product that is you know, made with coconut oil rather than beeswax. So I was like, ooh, that looks like it'll be vegan, I'ma snatch it up, and sure enough, it is vegan, and that's awesome. And so far I like it a lot, but again, I just got it today. So yeah, I'll let you know more about how my face feels later. Maybe I'll post about it on Instagram. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Until then, don't forget to be awesome, blessed be, and goodbye. I can't wave because I'm holding the camera.